Hello and welcome to day six. The focus of today's practice is building strength and inversion work, which means that our head will be below our heart, upside down. You won't need any props for today's class, so when you're ready to get grooving, just meet me seated on heels at the back of your mat. And don't forget to check out the description box below where I've linked to a bunch of goodies, including one to the Silverwind website where you can find all of the seven days practices with printable cards of each of the poses. And if you happen to find an outfit or two that catches your eye over on their site, then don't forget to use the code linked down below to get 25% off your entire Silverwind purchase. Meeting me in a seated pose at the back of your mat, if this is really intense on your ankles, you can always place a rolled up towel or sweatshirt in between your heels to ease some of the pressure on your feet. We're gonna start with the hands on a lap facing down. Go ahead and close your eyes and roll your shoulders up and down a few times. Start to connect to your breath. And then release the shoulders and just start to move your head side to side. Maybe taking it in big circles. One more full breath. And then gently blink your eyes open if you had them closed. We're gonna take the hands together in front of the heart, interlacing the fingers, and start to roll out the wrists in one direction. Now release your shoulders down the back. and then switch the direction. One more breath. And then take the arms out in front of you, spread the fingers wide, and as you exhale, make little fists, or big fists. Open the fingers wide, close, open, close. Keep it going like this for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Try to go a little faster, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, even faster, fast as you can, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release, roll out the wrists. <laughs> Say hello into your forearms. <laughs> and then slowly make your way into tabletop, hands and knees. Take a breath in here. Exhale. And then walk your hands slightly forward in front of your shoulders, tuck your toes. And on your next exhale, lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Take a moment here to create space in the body, pedaling out the feet, shaking out your head. And then on your inhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine forward, shifting your weight into high plank. As you exhale, bend the knees, arch the spine, lift the hips, down dog, like a big wave. Three more like that, inhale, rounds you forward, try to exaggerate the rounding of your spine. Exhale, bend the knees, tilt the tailbone up, arch the spine, down dog. Two more. Last one. And then on your next inhale, once more, come forward into your high plank, hold for two. Press the floor away, round the upper back. And then look back to your feet, bring them slightly wider than hips distance, breathe in. And as you exhale, lift your hips, take your right hand to tap anywhere along the left leg. The lower you go on the left leg, the more intense the twist will be. Inhale takes you back to your plank, right hand down. Exhale, switch sides, left hand to right leg. Inhale, high plank, four more. Exhale, twist. 
Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Last one. Inhale forward. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, knees down, tabletop. One cat cow here to reset. On your inhale, drop your belly down, chest up, look up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round the spine. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, down dog. On your inhale, round it forward, high plank. Squeeze the glutes, look forward. You can lower the knees for this first one. As you exhale, elbows bend towards the back of the mat, chest and hips lower together, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up just the chest, low cobra. Or if your spine feels ready, untuck your toes, extend your arms, lifting into upward facing dog. Hips and knees lifted, pressing the back of your head back. Breathe in, lower the knees down. Exhale, hips to heels. And then hips high, down dog. Two more like that, inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees up or down, look forward, elbows bend back, chaturanga. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Last one, inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Take one deep breath in here. Exhale. On your inhale, lower your knees, untuck your toes, press your hips back, child's pose to rest. Three breaths here. You can keep your arms up overhead, or if you'd like to release your shoulders completely, bring your hands next to your heels. One more breath. And then slowly extend your arms up overhead if you had them next to your heels. Roll forward through your tabletop. Exhale, lift the hips, down dog. On your inhale, round it forward through your plank. And then as you exhale, bend the knees, lower them all the way down, tabletop. So your knees are stacked directly below your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders. Toes are tucked under, breathe in. And then as you exhale, lift the knees just a few centimeters. Option one, you can stay here. All right, this is already quite intense. Option two, inhale. And then as you exhale, tilt the hips towards the right. Shoulders stay facing forward as low as you can bring the hips down. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, left side. So outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right foot. Inhale, center. Let's do it once more each side. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, hips lift, down dog. You may need to readjust bringing the feet back or the hands slightly forward. All right, we have one last push here. On your inhale, you're gonna look forward. And then as you exhale, lower one elbow down at a time with your hands facing forward. You can even bring the hands together here, coming into dolphin. Elbows will be only as wide as the shoulders. Don't let them go wider. Hands can be pressing together. I'm gonna to hold here for three breaths. Option one, bend the knees. Option two, straighten slightly into the legs. Option three, most intense, walk the feet slightly forward towards the elbows. One more breath. Keep pressing the chest back towards the thighs. On your next inhale, lower the knees down, press the hips back, child's pose. Reset. I'm gonna do that one more time. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale. On your inhale, roll forward through your tabletop. Walk your hands slightly forward in front of the shoulders. Exhale, lift the hips, down dog. Take a deep breath in, open the mouth, exhale. On your inhale, look forward, this time lower 
the opposite elbow down first, the one that you didn't lower down first on the other side. If you don't remember, that's totally fine. Hands together, elbows in line with the shoulders, looking back to your knees, and with your exhale, see if you can press your chest back towards your thighs, opening the shoulders. Option one, knees bent. Option two, legs slightly straight. Option three, walk the feet closer to the elbows. Try to relax your head, deep breaths for three. For two. Once more, big breath in. Exhale. Inhale, lower the knees down. Press the hips back, child's pose. Bring the hands next to your heels. Release the shoulders. Nice job. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Once more here, breathe in. Breathe out. On your inhale, slowly lift your chest to come seated on heels. Let your eyes close. Take a moment here just to catch your breath. Thank you all so much for joining today's practice. I hope that your body feels nice and fiery and also strong. And I will see you all back here tomorrow for the last day in our challenge. Namaste.